Alrighty folks, welcome to the video. This is a very sick video that I've filmed so far. It's a combination of steelhead fishing over the past two days that I've been out. Um, it hasn't been stellar, but it's been decent. We've got on some fish. I caught a few. One of my buddy caught a few. You know, we just, we caught some fish, good steelhead fishing. There will be more to come, but um, yeah, that was basically it. I mean, it was a good day on the water. I caught a real nice, you know, caught some nice cromers. We were fishing upriver. Um, and we were just catching fish and I'll show you guys my setup at the end of the video, but let's get right into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. What's up? What? Damn, just like that. I see you. Pretty quick, eh? Oh yeah, it's a nice male. Yeah, Gobbled that bitch. <laughs> nice son. Thank you. Yeah, I got you. I'd rather he choked. He yeah, choked. he did. I watched that indie go ding ding drop. I was like, oh shit. Nice. Yeah, that's a good fish. Recording. Good now you can be in my video. <laughs> <laughs> I need footage bad. I haven't made a video in like three weeks almost. Here we go. Got, I got Heard you. Yeah. That shit just dropped. That was awesome. Switch to that egg pattern. As soon as I switch chartreuse egg. Oh. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Snapped me. Six pound, bro. Six pound.
Push on. Folks, I caught a nice steelhead. Nice fly right there in the mouth. Um, wasn't recording on the GoPro like an absolute idiot, but try to get this undone. It's really cold and I pounded him on that hook set. Trying to get it out. She is, I'm gonna let her go. There she goes. Told you, bro. It's gonna be worth coming over here. That's a Roman, bro. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's a fresh fish. Straight jump, too. We're gonna run for our money in this eight weight. I should probably get that up more. Well, try to mess with it if you can. I'm babying it. I'll fight this thing for 20 minutes. No, it's like probably eight pounder. No, no 20 pounders, but. All right, it's about to come up. Come up when he's ready. Just like that, damn. Yeah, I'd stay down. I stayed down for me. And I'll swing him down. Oh, that's a, bro, that's a big one. That's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. I did not think it was that big. Yeah, that's nice. It's actually solid. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big one. Come on, baby. Oh, God, please. That was dirty, net job. That was dirty. That was dirty. You know how it goes. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. That is a chromie. That's a beautiful fish. It's right in the mouth, right? Yeah, directly. Let me get that shot. Yeah, he, oh, he, bro, it's gone. He hammered that egg, bro. Like, that's an actual legit, legit hit. Oh. I literally lost one face first in the water. What's up? Nice steel head right there. Came the new spot, hooked up instantly. Let it go here, nice hand. This is smoked, no. yeah. Yes, sir, good stuff. Didn't want to stick the GoPro yeah. under the water if it wasn't waterproof. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a really fun video you're gonna make. You know, every video is really fun. I really enjoy putting out videos for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoy them. I'm creeping up on 1,000 subscribers, which is like insane. I never, I mean, it's awesome. All these videos, fishing for steelhead and all that. Appreciate the salmon and steelhead. Appreciate you guys. Um, you know, just sharing it with others, showing everybody else other videos and all that. I really appreciate that. But um, in today's video, we'll uh, I'm gonna show you guys my setup and what I was using. So we'll start off with the uh, with the reel. I got a Reddington seven in, seven to eight weight reel. I got a brand new salmon steel head line, fly line. And then um, this wasn't the fly I was running. I just threw something on just to just so that way it didn't fall through the guides. Um, we were fishing indicators in this video. We were not flossing any fish. We were fishing indicators uh, for most of the video, feeling all the bites. But um, basically, what the rig is. You got, I usually use one split shop, everything got tangled up. But um, basically, um, you get your rig, you just put six pound test leader from your split shot to your fly, and then you run the indicator about halfway in between that, and then you just drift it down. And that's it's basically as simple as that. I'll do an in depth video on it later once the fishing gets more hot. But the rod I'm using is a uh, St. Croix 78 weight. Um, 
fly rod, which or not seven to eight weight. It's an eight weight fly rod. Very really good fly rod for steelhead fishing. I love it a lot. It's a nine foot. It works perfectly and it gets the job done. So that's basically my setup. Um, the baits we're using, uh, we're using egg patterns a lot of the day. Caught um, a few on egg patterns. I didn't get a lot of fish on camera. You know, if you guys know about anything with um, GoPro batteries, I even use the non-market GoPro batteries, better GoPro batteries. They just don't stay alive long in the in the cold, especially when you're still out fishing. It gets really cold. Um, so yeah, that's I didn't get a lot of fish on camera, so I'm sorry about that. But um, uh, we're using egg patterns and. Um, we were using too, like San Juan worms, and we were using uh, bug patterns like stoneflies and little nymphs and all that. We were getting bit. So, um, yeah, that's that was basically what we were using. And um, I'll do a more in-depth video, indicator fishing and all that. But um, we'll be going lake trout fishing too here soon. I know it's been a while since so I uploaded. I'm really, really, really sorry. Um, I've, fishing's been a grind, I'll tell you that much. It's been hard to get stuff on camera lately. So, uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram, at LorenzoHat37 right here. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Make sure to share this video with your friends. And um, yeah, give me to a thousand subscribers. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.